All right, so there's a lot of info out there, um, a lot more, especially more recently, about doing a cut and turn or or narrowing a, a front axle that you want to use in something uh, uh, something different. You know, a lot of guys are going to full size one ton axles and Jeeps or whatnot. Um, so you get to shortening, but this is one um, that probably doesn't happen a ton anymore because people don't even think about it. Um, but this is what they just call a cut and turn to where, you know, you're not shortening the axles or the axle tubes. All you're wanting to do is get this, get these inner C's off, not damage your tube and then turn the, uh, inner C to create a, a, a better caster angle and obviously, uh, better drivability. So on this international scout Dana 44, uh, I, I, I've cut both knuckles or, or both welds on the inner C's. Uh, I've knocked one off and I've got another one. It's, it's pretty much off. I just wanted to kind of give you a reference as to how I do it compared to how a lot of guys, uh, have said that they do it. Um, you know, one, pretty much the, the most common way talked about is getting in here. You know, obviously this inner C would be right up to this weld and guys will get in here with a big grinding wheel and they're just going to go in there and they are going to grind out this weld. And a lot of times what you're doing is you're grinding out this weld, you're grinding into the inner C here. And, and it's from what I've seen, it's really hard to not grind into the axle tube itself. Well, you know, if you have really, really thick, you know, half inch thick axle tubes, it might not be that big of a problem. Again, these are like, you know, three eighths in thick axle tubes. Again, it's not it's not the end of the world, but the way that I do it, I feel as though if you take your time, um, really does almost zero damage to your inner C and almost zero damage to your tube. Um, and that's just using a four and a half, five inch cutoff wheel following the, the, the flat uh, back spot of your inner C and just going in, and again, the nice thing about this being you when, you, when you're going in and cutting here, you can see as a reference where this tube is depth-wise. Well, when, as you're going in there, keep this position in a way that you can kind of see down through here and see how deep you're getting your cut line, and try not to go any deeper than level with, you know, what you can see visually with the tube. Again, you're going to do this. It's going to take some time. I think to do both sides of this, it took me, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. I've done a lot of them. Might take you longer if you want to be even more careful or if it's one of your first times doing this. But then you go down in there. Once you feel as though you're to a good point, I would, um, you know, spin this around. Use the top of the inner C first because obviously, you know, a larger flat spot to hit. And you're going to hit that, you know, maybe three or four times and hopefully what you're going to see is right in the back right on this top side you're going to start to see a crack forming and then obviously you'll kind of see it on the inside of here where this this inner seal start moving out um, again this is the best way that i found to do it where you pretty much can do the least amount of damage to the inner c the least amount of damage to your tube um, once you go through you'll see right here you still have all the material that was there from the factory on these inner C's. You go in, you clean this backside up with, uh, with a flap disc. You go in on the inside of here, you know, you clean that out with a, uh, with a sanding disc, clean your tube up, you know, get this, get this weld, um, flap disc down. And, and again, it's not that these knuckles will slide back on. You're obviously, there's a couple ways you can heat them up. Uh, either with a torch, you can heat them up in an oven and slide them on, or, I mean, you can get it clocked about where you want to and just tap it back on. A lot of times, if you're, you have two cleaned out surfaces, they'll, they'll go on pretty easy. But at least in my opinion, that gives you the, the most material left on your inner seas, the least amount of damage possible to the tubes. Again, take your time, try not to cut down into the tubes. And again, if you're, if you're not seeing after, you know, a half a dozen hits, any uh, cracking of the weld right here, you know, maybe go in there and just move your, your cut line back or angle your cut line a little bit more into the inner C. But again, just try and stay as, 
uh, away from doing as much damage or if any damage to the tube as possible so you're not creating any weak points and uh, we will be uh, reclocking these uh, after all this is all cleaned up welding them back on and uh, another one down the road all right guys have a good one